I'm hungry. Will you hurry up? I ain't got all night, you know. Will, I told you, I had to wait for the biscuits to finish. Yes, but a man expects his wife to have his dinner made when he gets home. I'm home, Martha. Where's my dinner? Here it is, Will, so please stop all your fussing. Billy, did you wash up for supper like I told you? Yes, Mama, I did. Come on. Good. Now, let's all say a prayer before we have supper. Billy, bow your head. Dear God, thank you for this glorious day. Thank you for this food you've given to us. Please nourish our bodies, our minds, and please pour your peace over us. Billy, go ahead. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By his hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Very good. So, Billy, how was school today? Oh, it was great. I finally beat Jimmy's team in basketball during recess, and now we are officially the champs. Woohoo! <laughs> Sounds like fun. Hope you learned something today, boy. Remember, schooling is more important than sports. Anything else, Billy? Billy? Well, I got in trouble for leaving my project at home. Dang it, Martha! Don't you ever help that boy with his schooling? Here I am busting my tail down in those mines, and you're supposed to be covering the home front. What's the matter with you anyhow, huh? I can't trust you to do nothing right around here, can I? Dad, it's not her fault. I'm the one who left it at home. Dang it, boy. That does it, okay? You're going to finish your supper, do your chores, and go straight to bed. I mean it. No watching TV, no playing outside with your friends, no nothing. So as soon as you get done eating, get hopping and cleaning that kitchen. Will, everyone forgets. He's only Shut up, woman. I'm speaking to the boy. Do you understand me, boy? Yes, Papa. Will, I really wish you weren't so hard on Billy. He's just a little boy. Listen, Martha, his schooling is important. Otherwise, he's going to end up like... Schooling's important, okay? Anyway... I got a call from Pastor Paul today. I think he's got some good news for us. Some people from the Gap Ministry are coming to our town this Christmas to do some home repairs for free. Ain't nothing free in this world, Martha. Ain't you ever going to get that through your head of yours? Don't you stop fooling around with those church people anyway. All they ever do is ask for money, and you know we don't have any money to give them. Well, I already asked them to see us. Will, the roof is still leaking. It has to be fixed before the spring rains. The kitchen's all messed up. The yard needs help. All right, and Martha, all right. You go right on ahead. But I'm telling you, don't expect nobody to do something for nothing. Because it, it just ain't going to happen. <sighs> Will... And Heavenly Father, we would also like to thank you for each and every member of this Sunday School class. We feel so blessed, Lord, and we just pray for the services as we go our separate ways, that you would be with the pastor as he brings the message this morning. These things we ask in your name. Amen. 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 <clears throat> hey, hey, listen, before you guys go into worship service this morning, I want to let you know that I did hear back from the Gap Ministry. Oh. And uh, oh, nice. it's confirmed. They've got more projects and more things, and they've got people to take care of. So we're definitely needed this year. So awesome. we're good to go. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, Phil, what exactly are we going to be doing? You know, a little bit of everything. Uh, they've got light construction that work needs to be done, interior and exterior. We'll be doing some roof work, maybe some plumbing. 
uh, even yards need to be cleaned up. So there's going to be more work than we need to, than, than we can possibly you know do. What? Don't forget, you know, we can also hand out Bibles and, and maybe witness to the locals. That's part of the mission as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, Frank here, he's, he's allowed us to bring his trailer. So uh, we've got it already loaded up full of stuff to take up there. So uh, <laughs> there's going to be plenty of stuff for us to do physically and spiritually. Awesome. You know, great. I'm so excited for this trip. I mean, God has blessed my life so much, and now I, well, we mm -hmm. get the opportunity to kind of give back and show our love for everybody else. Yeah, Absolutely. True, right. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. You know, I'm really excited. I, awesome. I think it would be a good idea if we all maybe said a prayer for the mission trip right now before we leave. You mind? Yeah. Is let's it okay, do that. Bill? Yeah, let's do Okay. That. Let's hold hands. You know, Father, we, we come before you now, and we just pray for this mission trip that you're, we're going to be on, Lord. Uh, well, your mission trip. And, Father, we just pray that you'll open doors and open mm -hmm. hearts. We don't, we don't know the family that we're going to be meeting and, and, and assisting this year, Father, but we pray that you would just prepare their hearts mm -hmm. and their minds. And we ask for success on the physical stuff we're doing, that, that we would be a blessing to them. But more than that, Father, we ask that you'd open their mm -hmm. hearts and that spiritually we, we, we would touch their, you would touch their lives, Father, in a very special way. So we pray for this family right now, Lord, that you would, we intercede on their behalf, that your glory would be seen in their lives, and they would be lifted up. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. All right, this is going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>